Welcome to a demonstration of policy-based access control using Layer 7 SOA gateways and the Axiomatics policy server. First, let's talk about the challenges around authentication and authorization. Anyone can integrate an application with an LDAP server, but what you truly need is interoperability across heterogeneous identity tokens, domains, and various services and APIs. There's two pieces to this. The first is authentication. You really want to be able to integrate with any standards-based identity management tool, as well as proprietary identity and access management tools. This includes supporting multiple credentials, including WS security, uh, username token, as well as certificate-based uh, credentials, based authentication headers, Kerberos tokens, or even proprietary tokens. Once you have those credentials, you really want integration with the maximum number of identity and access management providers as possible. This includes LDAP, Microsoft Active Directory, Novell, Oracle, SiteMinder, et cetera. Once you've authenticated those tokens, <clears throat> you may want to translate those tokens into some other format. So you need a full security token service for WS Trust-based token translation, plus custom identity federation for taking really any two uh, token types and exchanging between them. And once you've done that translation uh, and authentication, you might want some information about attributes or content so that you can then do fine-grained policy-based authorization. To that note, you really want to use the Zactimal standard for maximum interoperability. The Zactimal standard presents four specific criteria uh, for any policy-based decision. The first is the subject. This can be a username, uh, an identifier, or a specific token. The second is the resource, so this is what you're trying to access. It could be a URL, a URI, a service, an operation, or content within the message itself. The next is an action. What are you trying to do to this resource? Read, write, update, execute a service, delete, and then a context. This is where business rules and dynamic conditions come in, including integration with a policy information point for additional runtime processing. So here's how you can perform this policy-based access control using Layer 7 and Axiomatics. Here's the scenario. First, we have a request coming for some service or API, and it gets intercepted by the Layer 7 SOA gateway. Layer 7 goes out to some authentication server, be it LDAP or some proprietary server, and authenticates that, that credential. It then makes a call out to the Axiomatics policy server, which becomes the policy decision point uh, for this authorization. If, this, if the response from the policy server says that the uh, operation is permitted, then the service is executed and data from the backend service endpoints is returned to the client. And then at design time, there are policy authoring points from both Axiomatics and Layer 7 to define these policies. In the Axiomatics policy authoring point, you have an intuitive, user-friendly policy editor for creating, updating, and deleting Zactimal policies in both Zactimal 2.0 and 3.0 formats. Once you create those Zactimal policies at design time, they're pushed to the Axiomatics Policy Server PDP, and that's what makes the decision at runtime. On the Layer 7 side, you have a fully configurable identity extraction and authentication mechanism using the Layer 7 Policy Manager. So you can drag in credential extraction and how you want to authenticate those credentials. Then you can click and drag to integrate with the Axiomatics PDP for an authorization decision. 
Here's how that looks on an actual service to find the Lawyer 7 Policy Manager. You have your policy defined for extracting HTTP basic credentials, in this case, and then authenticating against an internal identity provider. This could just as easily go out to an external identity provider. Then we go to our policy logic template and include a policy fragment to go do PDP authorization using axiomatics. This includes several steps that all relate to axiomatics integration. That fragment contains extraction of a subject ID and resource ID, creation of a Zatmol request, including SAML assertion, then into the Zatmol PDP, getting the response, and making sure the decision responds with a permit. If so, that request is allowed to the back end. Let's talk about our demo scenario. This demo is using a RESTful interface for searching apartment listings. If you provide a simple base, you get back all apartment listings. If you provide some search criteria on the end of the URL, then you get back only those listings that match the search criteria. The user must provide credentials to create the service. And authentication is performed by Layer 7 using an LDAP query. An authorization decision is returned from the Axiomatics PDP, and then that access control decision is enforced at the Layer 7 SOA gateway. For the purposes of this demonstration, the user Dev1 can search anything. The user Dev2 can search anything but for apartments with garages. And the user Dev3 isn't allowed to search anything. So let's see how this plays out. I have my REST client here. If I log in as Dev1, and send a request for listings, I get back all of the apartments currently for rent. If I send a more specific request, I get back just those requests. If I send garage, I get back only the three that have garages. Now I'm going to log out, log back in as Dev2. I'm going to search again for garages, and I get a failed response. If I search for bathrooms, there are no listings. If I search for bed, I get plenty of listings. So the results are changing, but Dev2 is not allowed to search for garages. Now I'm going to log out and log back in as Dev3. I send my request. Now I fail immediately because Dev3 isn't allowed to search for anything. It doesn't matter what I put in. These decisions can be arbitrarily complex and can take into account user content within the message, the, obviously the URI of the service you're trying to access, or what you're trying to do in your REST or SOAP-based API. The PDP is eminently flexible, as is the Layer 7 SOA gateway for enforcing authentication and other policies around this, these APIs. Thank you for watching this demo.